Did you know that there's a star in our galaxy shaped like a diamond? And it's estimated to be worth over a quadrillion, quadrillion dollars? Or that there are more possible iterations of a game of chess than there are atoms in the observable universe? What if I told you that these mind-blowing facts are true, but that artificial intelligence can also generate facts that are completely made up? Welcome to the wild world of AI hallucinations, where machines make up the craziest things. But what exactly are these hallucinations? And why should you care? Let's find out. We'll start by defining what we mean when we talk about AI hallucinations. Simply put, they are when AI, especially a large language model like ChatGPT or Gemini, generates information that is completely made up, factually incorrect, or just plain nonsensical, even though it sounds convincing. You might think of it like when you see shapes in the clouds. Your brain is filling in the gaps and making connections that may or may not be there. That's similar to what is happening here, except with AI, it's much more complex than that. It's similar to when humans see shapes in clouds or faces on the moon. Our brains try to make sense of incomplete information. But with AI, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Well, sort of. It's not just a simple mistake, like saying 2 plus 2 is 5. It's more like AI confidently telling you that 2 plus 2 equals a banana. These hallucinations can be text, images, even code. They're not always obvious errors. Sometimes they are subtle and hard to detect, especially if you're not familiar with the topic. And what's most concerning is that AI often presents these hallucinations with the same level of confidence as accurate information. And while it may seem like a new problem, the term hallucination has been used in AI research for a while. Interestingly, in the fields like computer vision, it initially described desirable outputs, like enhancing images. But in the context of language models, it has taken on a whole new meaning. One that highlights the challenges of ensuring AI's accuracy. They're not bugs, they're a fundamental aspect of how these AI models work. Have you ever encountered a strange or unbelievable response from an AI? Let me know in the comments. But did you know that not all hallucinations are created equal? They actually come in a few different flavors, each with its own quirks. Let's take a closer look. First, we have sentence contradictions. Imagine an AI saying, the sky is blue today. And then in the next breath, the sky is green today. It's contradicting itself within the same conversation. This is just an example, but you get the idea. Next. Prompt contradictions. This is where the AI response goes against what you specifically asked it to do. For example, you might ask it to write a positive review of a restaurant, and it comes back with, the food was terrible and the service was rude. Totally the opposite of what you wanted. Again, this is just a hypothetical example to illustrate the point. Then there are factual contradictions. These are probably the most common. These often happen when the AI confidently states something that's just plain wrong. However, for our example, we'll use a real life example. Google AI, Bard, once confidently claimed that the James Webb Space Telescope took the first pictures of a planet outside of our solar system. That was incorrect. It made this mistake during its highly publicized launch, causing share prices to fall. And finally, we have nonsensical or irrelevant information. This is where the AI just throws in random stuff that doesn't make sense in the context. Like, if you ask it about the capital of France, and it says, the capital of France is Paris. Paris is also the name of a famous singer. Okay, thanks for that completely unrelated tidbit. This is just a made up example to show you what I mean. Each of these types highlights a different way that AI can go off the rails. But what causes these models to go off the rails and start making things up? The answer lies in how they're built and trained. These AI are trained on massive amounts of data from the internet. And let's be honest, not everything on the internet is accurate or unbiased. We're talking about things like Wikipedia, 
and Reddit, which can be edited by anyone, or social media where opinions are often stated as facts. If the training data is flawed, the AI's output will be too. It's like trying to learn to bake from a cookbook full of typos and wrong measurements. The result is not going to be good. These AI models are incredibly fast and complex text predictors. They try to guess the next word in a sentence based on everything they've learned. One way they do this is by looking at a lot of possibilities at once, kind of like exploring different paths in a road. But sometimes they pick the most common path, even if it's not the right one. This can lead to things, this can lead them to say things that sound okay, but aren't actually true. Another crucial factor is context. Just like in human conversation, if the AI doesn't have enough context, it can get confused. Remember our friend Garfield? If we ask an AI, can cats speak English? Without any context, it should say no. But if we tell it we were talking about Garfield, the comic strip, the answer is suddenly yes. Context matters. To make things even more complicated, these AI models are often called black boxes. What that means is that even the engineers who build them don't always fully understand how they arrive at a particular answer. This makes it incredibly difficult to pinpoint the exact cause of a hallucination. Some researchers even use the term stochastic parroting to describe how AI can repeat patterns from their trading data without truly understanding them. This is another way of saying the models can generate text that sound good, but might not be based on facts. Now, you might be thinking, this is all pretty theoretical. Does it really matter? Well, it does. These hallucinations aren't just abstract concepts. They have real world consequences. And sometimes those consequences can be pretty serious. Take the case of a lawyer who used ChatGTP for legal research. The AI fabricated entire court cases, citations, and quotes, which the lawyer then submitted to a federal judge. Not a good look. In another case, a legal team was embarrassed when ChatGTP made up bogus legal cases for a lawsuit against the airline Avianca. And you can imagine what damage hallucinations could do in a health scenario. These examples highlight just how easy AI hallucinations can lead to false information, embarrassment, legal trouble, and even death. And what's even more concerning is that it often takes experts or careful investigation to figure out that these are hallucinations. This really highlights the challenges for the average user. Can you think of other situations where AI hallucinations could cause problems? Share your ideas in the comments below. So, AI hallucinations are clearly a real problem. They can be funny, they can be frustrating, and they can be downright dangerous. But here's the big question. What if we could tame these wild imaginations? What if we could teach AI to be more truthful and reliable? The good news is, in fact, that is happening. As new models come out, they are hallucinating less and less. But we still have a long way to go until we get complete accuracy from AI models. Want to unlock the power of AI? Our free newsletter gives you the tips, trends, AI news, and tools you need to succeed. Sign up with the link in the description below. Your journey doesn't stop here. Watch our next video right here and keep building your knowledge.